What's up guys? How we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we look at the 36th ranked NFL player for the year of 2023. It's Jalen Ramsey. He's he's a good player. You know, he's he's got um he's got some real ability. Uh, the only difference with him is that he lets you know about it. And I, I love nothing more than to see Jalen Ramsey fuck up on the field. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 It's some of the most entertaining football I can see is when Jalen Ramsey gets pissed off at himself uh, for, you know, missing a tackle or, or letting a touchdown in. Because at the end of the day, if you talk, if you talk the talk, you got to walk the walk. And he does walk the walk at times. But when you are a top cornerback, most probably the, the top cornerback in your team, that means that you're going to be matched up against their top wide receiver, right? So at the end of the day, you know, he's never going to have a game off. He's never going to have a play off. He's never going to have a single snap off because he is expected as, you know, one of the top cornerbacks in the league to shut down his opposite man time and time again. And hey, if you're continually going up against some of the best wide receivers in the league. You're gonna let through some tack. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna miss some tackles. You're gonna let in some touchdowns. But at the end of the day, still up there. I don't know when he considers himself a veteran, but he's approaching that right now. I mean, he's been in the league for six years. Uh, he's been in the top 100 for six years, I believe. Might be wrong. But you know, at the end of the day, he's always entertaining, and that's what this game is about: entertainment. And he has that in spades. All right, guys, first thing we're going to do is just quickly look through his Wikipedia. We're going to watch the video and then let's put him into a rugby team. Jalen Luttrell Ramsey, born October 24th, 1994. He's 28 years of age, 6 foot 1, 208 pounds, played college football at Florida State from 13 to 15, got picked up in the first round of the 2016 draft with pick number 5. To the Jags, played at the Jags from 16 to 19, played at the Rams from 19 to 22, and this is new information that I was not aware of. He is now officially a Miami Dolphin. He came into the league in 2016, became a Pro Bowler in 2017, and has been a Pro Bowler ever since. Take from that what you will. But as far as his combine statistics are concerned, 4-4-1 for the 40-yard dash, 41 and a half inches on the vertical jump. Now that hits me every single time. Square in the face, 41 and a half inches. 11 foot 3 on the broad jump, 14 reps on the bench. Oh, he's quick, and he can jump. Okay, this is um, this is some interesting information. Okay, so he signed a five-year, $105 million extension with the Rams making him the highest paid defensive back in NFL history. That was on September 9th, 2020. Played that season, came into the 2021 season, won a Super Bowl with the Rams, and then following that season, on June 21st, he underwent shoulder surgery. It was revealed that he had tears in both shoulders during the entire 2021 season. So, okay, so being that he went for surgery on both shoulders, June 21st, 2022, yet still came back to play the entire 2022 season, just a couple of months later, 17 games played, had career highs in pretty much everything. 88 combined tackles, 64 solo, 24 assisted, two sacks, his first two sacks ever, 18 passes deflected, four interceptions, three forced fumbles, and one fumble recovery. I'm going to say as far as production is concerned, 2022 was his breakout year. It's just unfortunate they didn't make the playoffs. Either way, that brings his career totals as a cornerback to 108 career games, 452 combined tackles, 311 solo, 53 assisted, and that ratio between solo and assisted is quite significant. Two sacks, 92 passes deflected, so he's into absolutely everything. 19 interceptions for 208 return yards and one touchdown, and that one touchdown was in his rookie year, believe it or not. Either way, this is the most exciting part. On March 15th, 2023, he was traded to the Dolphins in exchange for a 2023 third round draft pick in tight end Hunter Long. And being that he's still got two seasons of his five year $105 million contract with the Rams, that must mean that Miami Dolphins are paying him upwards of $20 million per year for the next two, I assume. Honestly, the thought of the Miami Dolphins coming into this 2023 season just gets more exciting and more exciting as this list goes on. They are a team to watch. They've got swag on both the offensive and the defensive side of the ball. They've got confidence, genuine confidence on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. 
as far as you know anything but the linemen right the linemen are always supremely confident they have to be you know they've they've got size on their side uh but Jalen Ramsey I mean he's got a decent amount of size six foot two you know 41 inches on the vertical he's going to out jump pretty much everyone but he's got he's got everything else on his side too everything and I'm going to say he's in for a breakout season if he hasn't had that already the best trash talker in the league right now uh Y'all need to work out mode. Probably Jalen Ramsey. Probably Jalen. He got that dog in him. Jalen is a dog. He's one of those guys that's going to talk, but he's going to back it up at the same time. No! I've noticed him with his mouthpiece dangling. But the only trash talk I hear is the talk from myself. Like when corners talk, I don't hear it at all. You feel me? I've never heard Jalen talk trash once. They've pretty much got identical personalities on either side of the ball. Like I said, Miami Dolphins are looking real, real exciting this year. What? Ah. And to think that Ramsey is now at practice going to be coming up against the likes of Hill and Waddle snap after snap. It's only going to be good for his game. What is that? One of the best corners in the game. I got a ton of respect for him. Jalen Ramsey takes it away. It's probably the hardest position on the field. And he just, he owns it. Star power on star power. See, look, I mean, like I said before, you know, he's covering the best of the best. Diggs against Jalen Ramsey. Kims, Adams, Diggs. Jalen Ramsey ranks among the best, despite matching up with the Hill. best. Jalen Ramsey on CD Lamb. CD Lamb. Just one catch for this doesn't yards. stop. <laughs> Every other game, I'm in talking to people in Staying where he at. Today, what are you doing? Getting away from me. On the same play. Metcalf. I almost forgot about him. Cover DK Metcalf and keep his eyes on Tyler Lockett. He came off Metcalf there to disrupt the throw to Lockett. His body language. I was studying everything. Jalen Ramsey, being able to watch his film, dating it back to college, all you think of is... This guy loves to play football. Having fun, but we gotta have fun, bro. This guy has a knack for the ball. Second pick by Ramsey to date. This guy can hit. You don't care how big somebody is, yeah, you don't win tackle. the battle every time. Adam Troutman flattened by Jalen Ramsey. He can tackle low, he can tackle high. Zach Ertz. Ramsey lifted the 6'4", 265-pound tight end. McCaffrey stuffed by Ramsey. Me and Ramsey have been going against each other for a long time. Jalen didn't mean to. What is this? What What is this? Is that Devontae Adams to Tyreek Hill with, with Jalen Ramsey trying to cover the both of them? Blow up Tyreek Hill. Cam Hayward taking care of Tyreek Hill. Pro Bowl? Pro Bowl with no pads? Pro Bowl games. Is that seven aside? We go back way back to like Oklahoma State, Florida <laughs> State, 2014. Tyreek Hill. Played by Jalen Ramsey. Even when we came in as rookies, we was battling each other. Ooh. And now here we are today on the same team. Here we are today on the same team. That is exciting, man. I'm going to keep being me. I'm going to keep talking. Tyreek, he got that mindset too. Both of us are dogs. Being able to say Jalen Ramsey and the Miami Dolphins is super cool. Those oh, it is, fun. bro. I, and look, every single time I get goosebumps, I, I let you guys know and I've just got them again. I mean, Tyreek, Jalen, Waddle. Anytime you got a chance to share the field with great players, it's going to be fun. I'm trying to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Like, I want to be looked at in the same conversations as the Darrell Revis is, the Charles Woodson's, Deion Sanders. Man, we can do whatever we want to do when we put our mind to it and we work our ass off. The stuff I, reckon, that I, reckon, I reckon he's, geez, he's, he's bang on the money there as far as comparing himself to, to the likes of Deion Sanders. He's not quite as fast, didn't play baseball, but to go and talk the talk and then walk the walk, Ain't no one do it better than him in the league currently. Okay. The final thing we're going to do is try and place Ramsey in a rugby team. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, with with his athletic ability, with the with the ability to jump 41 and a half inches off of the ground from a standing start, he could play lock in the line out and just jump himself. Like, seriously, that is some superhuman springs in his feet. But he's not going to play lock because he's too small. I'm going to keep him out in the back line. I'm going to put him in at the position he plays pretty much 
on the wing you know his shutdown ability his his speed his ability to make split second decisions on the off chance he does get beaten he's going to be able to turn and chase um, but also you know if he's got five or ten yards in front of him and he's got his opposing man running at him he's got the the spatial awareness he's going to have the ability to uh, push them back inside to his defensive help if need be or if he does have enough confidence to push him out wide and use the sideline as his extra defender you know he's going to be able to do that as well he's going to be able to get up under the high balls and and jump higher than pretty much everyone to be honest so i think the way to utilize jalen ramsey on a rugby field would be to put up high balls high ball after high ball and uh and get him running through and trying to retain that that ball right because you know there's two types of well there's there's multiple types of kicks in the game of rugby but there's two that come to mind and that is like a, a distance a long distance kick where all you want to do is to gain advance gain territory uh get that ball in play down the op down the opposing end of the field right you're not looking at trying to actually you know have a player sprint up almost like a gunner and retain that ball and go and catch it and keep it for your team it, it's basically like a distance kick whereas you've got another type of kick which is like an up and under right you might it might only gain 20 to 30 meters but because it's so high it allows players from your team to run forward and get under that ball and actually have a genuine chance of retaining it right so in, and if you do retain it that's a 30 meter gain rather than try and pass it and and break tackles and and do it that way well, a far easier way if you have a weapon like Jalen Ramsey out on the wing is to kick it up in the air, make 20, 30 meters, get him under the ball and, you know, jump higher than anyone else that's going to be going up for it and retain the ball. So I feel like making their way down the field in that way would be really effective. But also, I mean, he's got enough speed. He's a 4-4 guy. Uh, he can shut down anyone and, you know, give him the ball and let him run. I feel like that'd be just as exciting as seeing him shut down opposing wingers. So at the end of the day, Jalen Ramsey, classic winger. The one weakness that a lot of wingers have is the ability to tackle. They want to stay out wide. They want to stay away from the action. But, you know, in this case, we don't have to worry about that. Ramsey loves putting a hit in and he's going to let the opposition know about it. And at the end of the day, what rugby needs more than anything is guys who are willing to talk trash, you know? These guys are so afraid to get in front of the camera or even on the field to talk trash. They're so afraid. They're so afraid to say the wrong thing. They're so afraid to, to, to talk themselves up. But sometimes you just got to fake it until you make it. Talk the talk and then walk the walk. Tell you what, if nothing else, take athletic ability out of the question. What rugby really needs is a few more personalities like Jalen Ramsey. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.